Hi everyone, welcome back to 5 Minute Fitness by Nylate, powered by Muthoot Healthcare. In this video, we're going to talk about the third and the most important and beneficial macronutrient, protein. Make sure you watch my other videos on fat and carbs so that you get complete knowledge about the three macronutrients. I bet you've heard from all sides that you should add more protein into your diet. The term protein was introduced to us at a young age by the definition proteins are the building blocks of our body. But how much do you really know about protein? Why are proteins so popular? Watch till the end to find out. Proteins are nothing but long chains made up of organic compounds called amino acids. Our body uses 21 amino acids known as proteinogenic amino acids which means nothing but protein creating. Out of these 21 amino acids, 12 of them can be made by our body by restructuring other amino acids making them the non-essential amino acids. The other 9 are called essential amino acids because our body can't make them on its own because of which we have to get them from our diet, especially through protein. Now that you've understood about the basics, let's talk about why we should incorporate protein into our diets. Reason number one. Protein is the macronutrient with the highest thermic effect of food response. In my video titled Why We Should Stay Away From Carbs, I already mentioned what the thermic effect of food means. But for those who missed it, thermic effect of food is nothing but the number of calories required by our body to digest, absorb and process the nutrients in your meals. And this for protein is 30%, which means 30% of your caloric intake will be burnt just to digest protein. Isn't that amazing? Coming to reason number two, protein-based diets increases satiety and satiation. A research paper published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition compares the level of ghrelin or the hunger hormone right after a high protein breakfast and a high carbohydrate breakfast. The results show us clearly that a high protein breakfast decreased ghrelin concentrations over time when compared to a high carbohydrate breakfast, thus increasing satiety, helping us to feel fuller, faster and for a longer duration of time. Another paper published in the Journal of the American College of Nutrition gives significant evidence that a high-protein diet increases thermogenesis, which is nothing but heat production, satiety and body weight and fat loss. So these studies show us that a protein diet will make us fuller and should help in the prevention of those sugar cravings you get right after a meal. Coming to reason number three, protein helps to build and maintain muscles. This is the most loved reason so far. Protein helps to build and maintain muscles. When it comes to building muscle, the amino acids leucine, isoleucine and valine, they take the spotlight. They are called branched chain amino acids or BCAAs. The most important one among these three is leucine due to its ability to build muscles by activating a protein known as mTOR which stimulates muscle protein synthesis. A paper published in the US National Library of Medicine tells us that the oral ingestion of leucine-enriched essential amino acids and carbohydrates rapidly stimulates protein synthesis. Coming to reason number four. In this point, I'll be telling you other benefits of protein as shown by research. A study conducted in mice published in Cancer Research tells us that a low carbohydrate and high protein diet slowed tumor growth and prevented cancer initiation. However, there are limitations to this study because it was conducted on mice and not on human beings. A paper published in JAMA Network says that the partial substitution of carbohydrates with either protein or monounsaturated fats can lower blood pressure, improve lipid levels and reduce estimated cardiovascular risk. But like other macronutrients, we don't want to eat too much protein because like they say, too much of anything is bad. It's typically recommended to get about 0.8 grams per kilogram of your body weight per day. But this number is not set in stone. But regardless of the amount, I hope that you understood the importance of incorporating protein into your diets. 
I hope you liked today's video and if you wish to support me and my channel, do click on the like button and the big red subscription button as it will really motivate me to move forward. Do follow me on Instagram and Facebook and do check out my blog on fitness. I hope you found this video useful. This is Nithya Ethan signing off. Bye.